Hi, I'm Johnny Fordham. I'm the Reading Evening Post crime reporter and today I'm down in Broad Street with Thames Valley Police and also representatives from Reading Borough Council who are launching their uh, crackdown on uh, Christmas drink driving. And so today I'm going to be uh, breath tested, then I'm going to go have a pint, uh, wait 20 minutes, then be breath tested again, see what the results are. What it's doing now is analysing the uh, breath that you've just blown in. Yep. And this one, just to explain, I haven't had a drink for about a week, so... It's, it's basically not possible for us to say exactly. Even, even a scientist cannot tell you without actually knowing more about the individual how much alcohol you can actually take or how many drinks you can actually take before actually being above the legal limit. Because everybody's different. Okay, so that's the uh, first point down. So uh, I'll wait 20 minutes now and then go get breath tested. Okay, just go into the device until I tell you when to stop. Keep going, keep going. That's it. What it's doing now is analysing the uh, the breath, and we'll get to the result very shortly. Oh, you passed, and I passed. So I passed. So uh, on to the next point, I think. It's just not worth uh, taking the chance. It's not. It's not risking uh, drinking alcohol and then uh, then taking the car out on the road. Okay, so we've uh, finished my second pint and it's uh, time to get breath tested again in about 20 minutes or so. Keep going, keep going. That's it. Just have to wait for the result. So it's now analysing the breath test. And I've passed, which is uh, quite surprising because I don't think I'd want to drive in this uh, I was having two pints, but I'm about to have a third, so off we go. This, this time of year we are doing more road checks, we are stopping more people, speaking to people for moving traffic offences, or if there's suspicion that uh, somebody's been uh, drinking alcohol and then driving. Okay, so I've just had my uh, third pint now, so we're we'll waiting 20 minutes and then being breath tested yet again. So. We're finding throughout the year when we're doing road checks in the morning, early road checks, i.e. we're looking for people not wearing their seatbelts, using mobile phones whilst driving. We are actually detecting people that are still uh, above the legal limit from the night before. OK, so I've just had my third pint in the uh, Hobgoblin and uh, I've waited my 20 minutes and it's time to be breath tested yet again. So here we go. Keep going, keep going. That's it. So just a nervous wait now. And again, I've, um, I've passed yet again. Uh, I don't feel comfortable to drive. I wouldn't drive like this. Okay, so I've had uh, three points today and I'm absolutely amazed that I can legally still drive, although I don't feel safe driving. Well, what you said there about legally driving, um, obviously we, we could also actually arrest people for being impaired through drink or drugs. Yeah. So even though you may pass the, uh, the breath test device, there's a possibility that if you were sort of slow in your speech and you could actually, you can usually tell if somebody's had a drink. If in the opinion of the officer that they suspect the person's impaired, the person could still be arrested.